Alright guys, what's up? I have a tackle tip for you guys. So I'm going to be starting to do this weekly, just a few tackle tips, tackle hacks, blah blah blah. So right now we're in the full swing of summer here in Australia, especially up in Queensland, it's been pretty hot and uh, pretty dry in New South Wales, it's been pretty hot and dry, but I live in Queensland, so one of my favourite summertime baits is a spoon. Long story short, uh, you guys that fish bass will know what spoons are, for the guys that don't fish bass or are not that familiar with fishing, spoons are basically a heavy little chunk of metal that you uh, cast out a million miles away and uh, roll it back. They have a number of retrieves, there's a number of different spoons that have different actions, some are a faster action, some are a slower action, and all come into play. Now the best places to throw spoons I find is usually, you can start in the morning, lunchtime, afternoon, but basically spoons are a really, really great deeper water bait. So if you want to find those ledges, find the drop-offs of the old creek beds, even some 20 foot, sort of 30 foot flats, I really like fishing in 20 or 30 feet of water. It's a really good place, it's a really good starting point for me to uh, basically search out and find where those bass are, and spoons are my favourite bait for that. My favourite spoons, honestly, at the moment are the Hot Bite Gang Banger G2s. Um, they have definitely accounted for uh, a few top tens in the last couple of years for me, uh, fishing ABT. But uh, so is this little devil, the uh, Norris Wasabi Spoon. It's uh, the 14 grams, so it's the heavier, oh, sorry, it's the 18 grams, so it's the heavier model. And um, that's also accounted for quite a few fish over my time. Very different actions for both of these, but that's something that you guys can work out for yourself and find out and see if the fish are wanting it. Sometimes what they want is not what they're going to want the next day, or not what they wanted yesterday. So it's always good to uh, have a number of selections, guys, and see what the fish are wanting to eat. I'm going to share with you guys how I rig my spoons and exactly what I do to maximize my hookup rates. Let's dive down and we'll have a close up and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right guys, so here we have it, the up and close. Now, all you're going to need to do this quick little tackle tip is a set of split ring pliers, preferably smaller ones. There's a lot of split ring pliers that you can get, but the smaller, the better, because these guys do get a little bit finicky at the best of times. You're going to need some split rings. I tend to use the BKKs. Uh, I use BKK and my treble hooks and any other hooks that I run. And I, I do use the split rings from BKK as well. What you are going to need as well is some assist hooks. Now, I've been running these VEX hooks for a little while now. Uh, I'm actually quite impressed with the VEX range. Uh, I do use the Eco Gear ZX40 assist hooks too. They're probably my favorite, but right at the moment, for the purpose of this video, uh, I'm gonna keep on using these VEX ones because I'm just giving them a bit of a run for their money. Right, now, it's as simple as this, guys. This one on the wasabi spoon that I've got, I've basically rigged this up for a particular reason. So basically I've got a split ring attached to the spoon itself. I'm running the assist hooks off that initial split ring that is attached to the spoon. But then I also like to run a separate split ring that I can run my leader off. That way you're not getting anything in the way of each other. You know, if you were to run the leader off the same split ring as the assist hooks, basically you can cost yourself hookups, but it just gets in the way. So if you've got the leader running down through here, it's not giving this the full swing room that it needs to be able to latch onto those fish. So this is why I know a few other guys do it as well, but this is why I also run a separate split ring. All right guys, so what we're going to do here is we've opened this split ring with the split ring pliers. We're going to sit and thread that separate assist hook on, like so. That's on there. So now that split ring is running freely on its own. Then what we're going to do, open it back up, the same big split ring. We've got our assist hooks here. I believe these are the ZX41s, but uh, 
as I said the other wasabi spoon has the Vex ones. Attach that, thread that on, and now what you've got is the setup that I like to run for spoons. So then this separate split ring that you've got nothing attached to, that is what you're going to run your leader line off, which then allows this with the assist hooks to swing completely free of any leader. It's not going to chafe the leader. It's not going to sacrifice any hookups by plucking it out of its mouth. Simple as that. All right, guys, how quick and easy was that? Takes literally a couple minutes and that will maximize your chances on getting those big old bass, son. That's what it's all about, right? Right? Big bass. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, hit the subscribe button down below so I can keep on bringing videos like this to you guys. And while you're there, jump over to our Facebook and Instagram, Keegan Painter Fishing, and check us out over there. That's it for me, guys.